fun. They'll rob you. That's your bag and run. In daytime or nighttime? Both. Day or night. Don't matter. Yeah, I just got shot. Anywhere people die, but here they die because self-inflicted. Dallas is all over. It's the young boy with the gang with the guns. I got a documentary out for it. Charge it to the game. Just don't stare at people too much. There's crazy people out here, bro. Those people are fucked up up here. Another 13-year-old has been arrested and charged with attempted murder. They're looking for the two people they say fired shots at each other outside a restaurant in broad daylight, the middle of the day. You were saying all the shit that goes down here, like the gangs between the young people, it's all here. Punch point. Punch point, 149. A lot of people don't know it, but it's, there's a place called Lambert, and then 180 at West Farms. That's a lot, that's a bad place too. Police say the two groups of men faced off on East 169th Street. For two suspects accused in a shooting in the Bronx, surveillance video shows them draw their weapons and fire at a man wearing a red jacket. This Police need help finding two men who shot and stabbed three people in the Bronx. This old man with a gun shot a 25-year-old in the back and another 25-year-old in the arms and body several times. Here, 70 years in the Bronx. 70 years. 70 years. It was a better life, more quiet, less shooting, less killing. I'm tired of this, I'm not gonna lie. It's just not, the people over here are just so grimy, so like disrespectful. I, I don't know, it's just yeah. a lot out here. Why are you still here though, if it's that dangerous? Think about moving. Where are you going to move to? North Carolina. This is the Bronx, one of the five New York boroughs with the highest crime rates, all including murder, manslaughter, rape, robbery and assault to name a few the bronx has the highest poverty rates in the state of new york with the median household income in 2022 at about forty-seven thousand two hundred and sixty dollars which is about 39 percent less than a citywide median household income according to the united states census bureau 35.6 percent of under 18 year old individuals are living in poverty when it comes to their education attained 30 percent of 25 years and older only have a high school diploma or equivalent placing their presence higher than every other advanced degree holder in the bronx when you consider the race age and gender of the borough's criminal offenders the top arrests are male looking at the male to female ratio here mostly of hispanic descent with blacks coming in second place and the age group with the most arrests being 25 to 29 years of age which brings me to the leading questions of this episode what about this bureau makes it the most dangerous in the state of new york why are young people here far more susceptible to crime than any other borough and what can be done to change its reputation for better it's my first time being all the way up here. So I'm excited to explore this, man. Talk to people that are locals to the most dangerous neighborhood. So we're gonna touch Mott's Haven and um, Hunts Point. It's cold. Hunts Point not even, if you really over here, Hunts Point not on that. It's not that bad? Nah, all right, cool. so I can go with my camera, talk to anybody, cool. Not gonna get jumped, thank you. Yeah, for me, yeah, you just gotta like, if you come on some bad time and mad stuff, they gonna come with you bad time. But if you like yeah. YouTube and shit like you told me, bro, they gonna yeah. jack your shit. So. Alright bro, appreciate you man. Right here, we're talking like those PJs. You see how people are looking at me mad strange right now? Yeah. So like those PJs and then there's one on the other side. Mm -hmm. They kind of like beef with each other. So this is kind of like middle ground. Oh. If that makes sense. So like, you know, there's been shit that happens at the corner stores. People getting robbed and shit like that. And then multiple like gang violences between different gangs and shit like that. But well, yeah. The school system here is horrible. They are failing the children. It's a no left behind law. The no left behind law with school is just they're pushing them along mm. without really having the knowledge. If you go to if you burst school in the south versus here, it's horrible. I'm in New York. I'm not safe. I'm a black woman in New York. So you watch the news. Gang violence is everywhere, bro. Reality is hard to avoid. You just gotta know which ones is like which ones is cool to be around. Like which ones is friendly, very welcoming. There's some that don't accept nobody. They won't even allow the little kids to be around their block sometimes. There's a lot of people suffering off of the gang violence, off of the dangers in New York. There's other people that, like, maybe they've been here for a while and they decided to leave because of that, because of all that bad energy around this area. But those people are fucked up up here. If your whole world is fucked up up here, how are you going to live? For the mental, mental, mental health. health. Oh yeah. my God, there's so uh, many mental health people. He let it come out with no medication. Yep. And the people keep on asking for people for money. You they know, beg all day. They beg all day. Then they get food. on drugs. And then, 
they do not give you nothing. He, they get mad. Mad, cast you out, hit you, well, you yeah, know. Yeah, there's a lot of mental health people you know? around here. There's a lot of things that happen out here, you know. Um, I say mentally ill people, people that's mentally ill, you know, they go through a lot of things and they take it out on people, you know, push niggas on the train, stab and shoot. There's a lot of crazy things that happen with mentally ill people. Depends where you go, you know, you, you see it. You see it around a lot of young guys, you know what I mean, hanging out, doing things they're not supposed to, you know. And as we get older, you know, what we did before, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like repeats itself in different ways, you yeah. know what I mean? Why do you think uh, young kids nowadays are the ones, you know, bringing all the violence and the gang stuff, you it's, know, with the guns, like you just said, doing the, things they're not the supposed energy, to. The energy, you know, it's like when we were younger, it's the same thing. We had all that energy. You place it the right way, you go the right way. If not, you got to be the best at whatever you do, no matter what. See, the bad part, it doesn't matter after 10. Is when? After 10 o'clock. After 10 p.m., that's when the, the bad part kicks after in. And then the party stops. Is that what? the good and the bad. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? What's the good? Tell me the good part. You got it. You got it. This is the good part. Um, but I think that the Bronx is, are, is more noted as the baddest place because it's the last place to be gentrified. Uh. So it hasn't been updated and glorified like Brooklyn. Like Brooklyn, places that used to be just like the Bronx where it was rats and garbage everywhere, is now the rent is damn near $3,000 for a student. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? So it's slowly getting gentrified. The problem is, they don't have anywhere to migrate everyone else. See, they did it to Harlem first, and Harlem started going to Queens and Staten Island. And then they did Brooklyn, and a lot of people started migrating south. There's a lot of people that moved to Texas, North Carolina, South Carolina, things of that nature. But when you look at the population of the Bronx, where are you going to lie and tell these people that you can send them? So that's the problem with the Bronx. It's just it hasn't been updated. Okay, a few things to address here, guys. The ongoing mental health issues in the Bronx is alarming. For example, the Bronx Times, a local newspaper, states that it had the highest rates of psychiatric hospitalization across NYC. New York City officials say that we are in a mental health crisis to combat a growing mental health crisis. The city announced the opening of a new behavioral health facility, the Bronx Support and Connection Center. Michael Coco says he was having severe emotional distress two years ago. A recent survey done by the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene shows 8% of adults in the Southeast Bronx area experience more serious emotional distress compared to the people of New York City. The Bronx is being gentrified. Some people say no, it's not. When it comes to gentrification in the Bronx, it appears developers and investors are taking their time with this one. Here's a displacement risk map drawn by the City of New York. Using the color code on the map, this shows us that the people who are residents of the Bronx are at the highest risk of getting displaced. Although the changes and developments in the Bronx aren't as aggressive as what we've seen in Brooklyn and Queens in the last decade, locals and news sources speculate that they may be the next target for New York's relentless gentrification. I have a lot of nice things here, so let's go see what's up and talk to them and see their experience with the crime rate out here. Have you ever experienced robbery here? Yeah. My first experience of it was some years back. New York was having like a rough time that period, so probably like about 50 kids. Yeah. Just bum rushed the store and just started grabbing stuff. Yeah. I chased them. This was probably like maybe 8.30 at night, grabbing mannequins, dragging mannequins down the street, stuff like that. Does that still go on? Even though you still get grabbing go here and there. People would come in, grab a stack of jeans, try to run, stuff like that. Right up really did. Safety. Have you thought about hiring security? Yeah, sometimes the police come over. So we do. Who, who robs most of the time? Like, is it younger, older? What race? If that doesn't matter, but I'm just curious. Why? Why is it? Why is it us, our younger ones? Are we failing them? What's going on? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Right now, everything's yeah. trying to be good. Hey, and nah, there's a lot of gangs around here, but everything is good. Recently, I just got shot. You just got shot? In my lower extremities. What happened, though, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I just got off work, and I was randomly walking home. Out of it, I don't really remember or, like, really know what happened because it was, like... A straight bullet. Yeah, so, it's like, you know, the more I talk about it, the more, like, other people and other information. So, like, as more as I begin to uh, gain more momentum and, like, walk around and stuff like that, I start to be more conscious and aware, like, the, the street that I went to, 
I didn't even know that was a school. Like, this, so it was like not too far from a school. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was very interesting yeah. that, you know. Sometimes it do be popping off. Like, look at these guys up the block that be doing the phone. A lot of beefing on the buses. Down here, like, yeah. see where that bus is at? Yeah. It'll crowd it right there. And then people will start beefing. It's safer during the day. During the night, it's a different, different story out here. There's a lot of crime going on in the Bronx and Brooklyn and the whole world. There's no family, there's no more friends. Sometimes the younger don't have that communication with the parents. Then again, they feel lonely. You know, the parents never teach them about the Word of God. And, you know, they tend to do that to um, conform themselves, like to say, hey, you know, I'm a big guy, whatever, yeah. I can do anything I want. Four. I came when I was three years old, 1953. My mommy used to pay $25 in a five-room apartment. Wow. <laughs> now, what is the rent looking like right now? Oh, no, a lot, a lot of money. And then the people that are poor, poor in the sense that, you know, we don't get like, um, I would say like um, maybe 50 and up. 50? Nearly. 50,000 a year, you know, like the job they have. Uh, the, right now, my husband and I are paying um, almost 900 for one bedroom. 900? Yes, yeah, full of rats and cockroaches that don't want to fix. That's not good. Yes. Rap has been around for decades. Now, there's a new style of rap that's blowing up. And it's gotten to the point where the mayor of New York is so concerned that he's trying to rein it in. Mayor Eric Adams is trying to curb the violence associated with drill rap. Now that's a branch of rap music that is about the violent side of the streets. I had no idea what drill rapping was, but I called my son. It is alarming. They watch the videos, they watch the drill videos. They watch yeah, how is that? Why, that has influenced a lot of the young people, man. Like the drill music and all of that, it's like fueled by so much hate, crime, gun violence. That's, that's, now you're going into the record labels, right? Because this is what you're, you're obligated to do in order to get this little advance. So but they say it's the culture though, of the area, like the Bronx, this is how we live out here. We talk about I things mean, that we went you through. watch it. So if I don't have the right person to guide me or mentor me and tell me that's fictions, you know what I mean? That's really not real. The state of yourself, you're not gonna be intervened with that shit, you know, like, it's not really a, a big thing, but, you know, survival. Do you listen to Drew? Cool. Yeah, so why why is so much, you know, everything's about shooting and killing and stuff? Like, I feel like it's influencing the younger, do, do you think so? To me, Drew is just a type of music that people, certain people express their, their emotions and they, you know, they feel like you got rap, you got R&B, you mm -hmm. got Hip hop, it was just a type of music. It's a genre. I you like, like it? I like, yeah, I like it. You I don't care about the lyrics, shooting, killing. I yeah. mean, like, I'm from New York, it's my hometown, so like, I'm used to it. It's not, it's not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not phased by it. Gang. That's definitely big right now. It's, it just definitely, I wouldn't necessarily say gang, but it's definitely having the influence here in New York City. Oh, the studio is like a thousand something now around here. Can you afford it? No. So where, how, where do you stay? What I'm is your? I'm staying with a friend, thank God. He found out I was sleeping on the roof and he took me in. I never told him. I never begged anybody. I won't do that. You have kids? You have family? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen my family in a while. Why? Is that by choice? Because, yes. No, well, I want to talk to them, but now I don't have their number. I can't contact them. I don't have a phone. Because I don't qualify. So it's basically, I'm in the world alone. But you gotta do what you gotta do. They come out here, they used to have a club right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every, every night somebody got shot. <laughs> at the club? At the club, yeah. Because, you know, dudes fall in love with the girls and all that deal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, the girl might be somebody else's girlfriend or wife, you know what I'm saying? They make this image of us being aggressive and being rude and mm -hmm. being all these things, but you literally can have a conversation or say, excuse me, miss, can you tell me where so-and-so? Like how I talk to you. Her. Exactly, yeah. you just talk to me. I wasn't aggressive to you yeah. at all, so it's just a bias for New York. A country with so much fucking money and people worried about President Trump, maybe you should help the fucking people who need help. Instead oh. of sending your money to fucking Trump. Yeah. That's what the fuck they should do. Sending your money to a man who got money, these people don't have shit, and you sending your money to him. 
Shit don't make sense. Huh? Oh, to Israel. Why the fuck is the United States sending Israel money? It don't make sense. Yeah. Like right now, it's up for him. He asking for it, I know everything is denied. Everything. Everything is denied. So you I, asked and for- And I went to college here. Uh, and he is serious. And you asked for help, and they de they denied you. Right. That's a big issue, bro. Very big. But then people who just came into the country. Oh, they get automatic. Automatic, yeah. Automatic. They get everything. Automatic. OTC, Medicaid, everything. Uh, look, everything. the other day I go apply for a phone. I don't qualify. But a lady from another country, they give it to her. Wow. How, how does she qualify? And I'm American. How did that make you feel? How do you think? How would it make you feel? Sometimes the neighborhood gets a bad rep because it's always the negative stuff that people highlight. Do we have some bad apples? Absolutely. It's New York City. It's anywhere in the world. As a Nigerian, people would say Nigerians are scammers. Yeah. Is every Nigerian a scammer? Is every Nigerian a criminal? I want to move. I don't mind being in a Bronx, but I want one of the newer buildings. You know, they're slowly gentrifying the area. Still culturally appropriate. That they yeah. still remain the same. Um, you know, spray painted the subways and things like that, you know. So. Uh, what's your best part about living here? Man? Just being here. Just being here? Yeah, yeah. diversity of, uh, of uh, races, yeah. you know. This, they, whatever don't happen here, don't happen anywhere. You see it here in the Bronx first. I don't think it's dangerous over here. At night, yeah, you definitely got to be cautious, but that's anywhere. That's in any city. Yeah. America is a dangerous place. I'm in college, so. Oh, you're in college? Do you think a lot of young people here go to school and stuff? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. There's schools around here. There's no type of shit. The food, food options. You got a lot yeah, of food. There's a lot of food variation. Everything is good. You know, chilling type shit. All healthy, good food. Yeah. It's not as rough as what they say. No. Well, not around here. Anyway. After spending a day in the Bronx, Mott Haven, and Hunts Point, I believe I got the answers that I was looking for. Is it dangerous? 100%. It could be. Could it be better? 1,000%. It could be. But the people can't do it by themselves. They need a government that is fully behind them and that is for the success of its people. Without that, everything they're doing in that neighborhood is most likely going to work against them. And that brings me to the end of today's episode. Please comment your opinions down below, like, share this video, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next time with a new episode.